Okay, so um, I'm Susanna, and this is our team, uh, Rebecca, Joe, and Susan. And uh, we want to talk about Clarity, which is um, an app for, uh, for treating cognitive uh, uh, fatigue, but we also have a device that came along with it. So to give you a little bit of um, a background on that, there's uh, both objective and subjective measures of cognitive fatigue. Subjective being what the patient can give uh, through their own self-assessment and objective things like EG monitoring, which have been found to uh, show that there's uh, you know, depression in the visual cortex activity and you could use it as an objective measure. Well, we wanted to provide both subjective and objective uh, monitoring of brain fatigue, but also a way that you can combine that with monitoring of actual treatment modality. And we wanted something that could be non-invasive and also self-administered. Uh, and also clinically to be proven safe. So uh, from, from doing some research, and this is something that I, um, I do a light research in my own thesis, so I wanted to know if this could be clinically uh, um, applied. And we've already seen that in uh, traumatic brain injury and in stroke, uh, the mental fatigue scale, uh, which has been developed to track this, has indicated there's uh, a huge problem with this in these type of patients. Um, at the same time, EG, like I said, could be as a readout for the objective measures of uh, fatigue. And so um, I wanted to look into biophotonics, which is a way to uh, create photo, uh, it's biomodulation through light therapy, and most commonly the near-infrared light is what's used because it's, it could penetrate deeper into the tissues, about three to five, um, up to uh, three to five centimeters when you're using really high, uh, really long wavelengths. So this has been done in human studies previously. Uh, these are the ones, uh, the indications where it has been used uh, successfully um, in both improving executive cognitive and emotional functions, ischemic stroke recovery, brain trauma, depression, and age-related macular degeneration. Uh, some of these, um, I'm not gonna go, this is a busy, busy slide, but these are the ones that have been uh, successfully used in uh, humans, and I, just to point your attention um, to a lot of groups that are looking at this, including NASA, uh, Veteran Affairs, um, and they've been using it for cancer chemotherapy recovery um, as well, and they're looking into it in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's now. So uh, specifically, brain uh, traumatic injury has uh, the, um, the best sort of outcomes, and, and this is particularly, as you saw, associated with the brain fatigue that we wanted to look into. So these are some of the current devices. As you can see, they're a bit clunky um, and not very easy to administer the, both the tracking and the actual light therapy application. Uh, so we wanted to create something with a better form factor um, and also to see if we can leverage this for other diseases with brain fog. Um, in fact, uh, Crohn's has been very much associated with uh, cognitive uh, fatigue. Uh, other diseases like Lyme disease uh, are, would also be interesting to look into. And so this is our uh, sort of uh, headpiece that we've developed in conjunction with the app that Rebecca will go through in a second. And uh, this app uses a more elastic polymer where you can put the LEDs in a cross section with the EGs on a structural base on the bottom. And we developed the mental fatigue scale uh, adoption of this uh, sort of questionnaire to do the subjective measures to prop sort of the patient to respond what their treatment uh, is. This is a, a huge market in biophotonics. It's expected to reach 91.31 billion by 2024. Um, and as you can see, there's not a lot of devices that have actually made it through trials, mostly because there's not enough clinical trials to convince clinicians to do this. So uh, we, as a uh, commercialization strategy for clinical studies, it would be best to uh, partner with VA, DARPA, and NASA who have already been really open to these studies, as well as hospital networks that are looking for alternative therapies, um, as well as technical um, uh, partnerships would be good with Velocity to use games in our app, and as well as Sales Search and Zevia to be able to use uh, the IoT application and patient, patient management sort of um, uh, uh, interface. And so I wanted to thank everyone and also let uh, Rebecca quickly go through our actual um, user interface for the app. And this is the, um, the Clarity app. Right, so you could start a session and I you can, sure see. is it not being seen? Hmm. Yeah. No, technical difficulty. Yeah, it's okay. It should show now. Okay. We swear there's an app. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, why don't you? Functionality? Sure. So we, 
the, the bulk of, of the weekend was spent kind of prototyping the platform of the hardware and the app that's paired with it. So we were able to leverage some existing infrastructure we had for brain monitoring equipment. And then we've been experimenting with different materials to actually put the lights on. Uh, you can just unplug it. You're not going to see it anyway. It's infrared. Uh, so yeah, this to put is the lights on infrared uh, lights. And we wanted to make it out of more flexible material. This is a prototype uh, using, using the open VCI, which uh, is just to understand that the more factory design sure. uh, helmet is going to be more cost efficient where the LEDs will go. Uh, you see the base here is an EMG sensors. I get it. Everybody come really close. <laughs> So you can set the intensity, the duration, and you can view an EEG. There are also uh, scales that you can measure cognitive fatigue. With. Right, and as we mentioned, the mental fatigue scale that we used, we kind of cut it down and really um, structured it in a way that could be really easily um, prompted uh, for the patient to answer. So it's uh, you know little scales of uh, you know how stressed are you feeling today? What how uh, you know how much uh, is it difficult to concentrate and things of that sort? And of course, while you're Yep, that's it. <laughs> okay. Thank you.